She's just a girl and she's on fire. fire. Higher than a fantasy. Only like a highway. She's living in a world and Hey everyone, it's Miss Eileen here and I'm back for ADTC's March Girl on Fire giveaway. This has been such a fun month. I've done a couple hip hop tutorials as well as a musical theater elective and they've just been an absolute blast to choreograph and I'm so excited to see what you all have in store for us to watch. So make sure you're still uh, sending us those videos so that you can be entered to win a free week of camp this summer. Ah, oh my gosh. So in case you don't know who I am, again, my name is Miss Eileen. I'm one of the directors at our ADTC overnight summer camps. I've directed in North Carolina and Maryland and I've also worked at our Vermont and our Wisconsin locations too. And uh, I'm really excited to be back again this summer. So I hope to see a couple of you there. So again, our theme for this month is Girl on Fire, and I just wanted to take a moment to talk about that a little bit. When I think of the words Girl on Fire, one of the first things that comes to my mind is the word intensity. And intensity is a measurement of power or strength behind something. So as dancers, we are always looking for the most intensity, right? Whether your teacher has asked you to attack the movement, to be strong, be fierce, be confident, all of those things umbrella under being intense. And we can do those things in a couple ways, right? When we go on stage, we can perform with emotion, with very intense emotion, whether you're happy, sad, or angry. When we are executing movements, we can match our intensity to what that movement is. So whether it's sharp and strong and requires lots and lots of intensity, or whether it's more soft and fluid and it requires a little less we always match what we're trying to do with our intensity on the inside. And then another way that we can bring intensity into our dancing is how we show up for class. So are we feeling confident? Are we feeling energetic? Are we feeling like we are ready to give and try our best? And again, those things look a little different for everyone. So it's not about the technique, it's not about the execution specifically of the movement, but it's about how you're feeling on the inside and what you feel you're ready to give that day. Sometimes as a teacher, I do see that we lose our intensity as students when we feel not confident. So when maybe we're trying something new, we're trying a different style, when we feel like there are lots of eyes in the room that could be looking at us, we tend to shrink ourselves and we tend to physically make our movements smaller because we're trying to fade into the background. And I know that feeling all too well. As a dancer of many years, I've experienced this a lot. I know it can come from a lot of different places. It can come from fear on the inside. It can come from trying something new or being in a completely new space. It can come from the fear of judgment or someone else telling you that you are too much that you are too intense. And over time, these things can contribute to ourselves dulling our sparkle. As a teacher, I it's very close to my heart that everyone can kind of realize that this is happening and we can kind of unlearn those fears of being too much or being too intense, whether it's coming from someone else or it's coming from the inside. I hope that we can unleash those and unlearn them. So I think the biggest takeaway here is just to not be afraid to live life intensely. Don't let anyone, whether it's someone else or the little voice in here that gets us down sometimes, don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Be intense, live life intensely, take the dance class intensely, and don't let the fear of others' judgment hinder you from bringing all that you are to the table. Be authentically who you are and never stop having fun. Until next time, I'm Miss Eileen. See you later.